what are some things that we never got into when it came to ranching or working with horses? We were confused as to why I came up with this subject. <laughs> we talked about spitballed it. Um, not exactly sure what I meant by the whole ranching part, but we did talk about, you know, we never got into endurance racing. We did have some horses that we produced that got into endurance because they're, they're uh, owners. Uh, roping or rodeo, we never really got into that. Uh, I think you had a couple others, but those were kind of what we were initially thinking of, of things that we never got into or never had an interest really but it's kind of something that people have looked at and been like, why didn't you do that? Well, and yeah, I can, I can tell you from a time I was a little kid, I kind of wanted to do some rodeo. Uh, you know, dad did a little bit. My uncle did a little bit. Uncle Ron was bull rider and actually pretty dang good at it. Uh, but I was highly discouraged because that's playtime. It's not ranch yeah. time. And unless you're making money with some, uh, you know, as a stock contractor, the two really don't mix that well, or unless you've got a really good, say, a rope horse that you can share and work, you know, a, a cut of, of winnings off of. And, you know, that can be lucrative. So, you know, we just did not do that because it it didn't focus, or I guess it would detract from what you're doing with the ranch, which is a full-time jam job. I mean, it's, you know, this, this is not something that, that uh, you got a lot of spare time on uh, to go and play. Or if you do, it's the wrong time of year. You know, wintertime, it kind of slows down, but that's not when all those rodeos are going on. The finals are getting over, you know, long before you, you're you uh, uh, knee deep in, in in snow. But at the same time, then you're just hanging around trying to keep animals alive. So uh, never got into that much. Uh, we never had an opportunity to do, you know, like show cattle. Uh, and again, it's the same thing. And and if you're a, a a kid that's doing 4-H and FFA, I think that's a great thing. I, I don't think there's any issue with that at all. A kid can learn a lot, um, win or lose. Uh, there's some valuable uh, skills there that can be picked up and a lot of knowledge along the way. It's And, and those organizations are just as good as their, um, their mentors that are running them too, you know. So, um, you know, you can have some non-interest. So, we never got into it. There just didn't have that much interest here at the time. Uh, no FFA it was too small of an area for that, but the 4-H was fairly political. And dad says, I'm not that, you know, I don't, I don't make enough money for you to win. It was kind of the way it went, you know, and, or for my sister, my mother didn't sew well enough for, for my sister to win. And there was a lot of that that went on, unfortunately, but uh, you know, that's, that's life. So, yeah. you know, it kind of didn't get into the stuff that was, associated with ranching with horses and cattle but um because it didn't contribute to it so much it would detract and that's really why yeah that makes sense like i said i don't know what the title came from i need to start writing better notes uh <laughs> probably probably all we got for that subject well so, it's uh, okay for you to write notes if you're like me i can write something and then i get to ask your mother hey what What's this say? I can't read my own writing. It's like having a squirrel find an acorn six months later and being like, hey, I didn't know it was there. So <laughs> yeah. here we are, whatever. But that's yeah. uh, that's some of the stuff we never got into. Yeah. 